how are you doing today so far? Uh, this is Zhang Chen, section head of Japan Sales Division. It is really nice to see you all again uh, in this physical conference hall, face to face, not via any virtual media. So how do you like the previous two sections? This year, Hotech has made a big progress on many category of products. We started M4 and we got plenty of ASP released. I believe you have had some ideas and understandings from Boni and Quanxi. And in this part, I'm going to present you our new products in three categories. First is BLDC motor control. In our views, this is a very important market because it covers many useful applications in our daily life. For example, massage guns, which are very popular these days. People love to use massage guns after exercise. And other examples, uh, for example, like uh, ceiling fan or power tools or even e-scooter. We know how important it is. So in the past few years, we have spent much time and made an effort in this field. So following, I I'm proud to present you our new families of BLDC motor control products. There are many divided into two groups, 8-bit core and 32-bit uh, core. Uh, for a big core, there are three families uh, in this group. Pure NCU type, uh, gate driver SOC, and the driver SOC. Start from pure NCU type. First, we have uh, BD66FM uh, 5245 and 5252. One of its key features is back EMF filter uh, to make, which can make sensorless phase change nice and clean lower the motor vibration and uh, reduce the noise. And exclusively for 5252, it is suitable for lithium battery charging application because internally it has an accurate reference voltage source and also a reverse uh, OP amplifier. And it also supports international IEC certificate, which has self-check inspection mechanism. And uh, their basic spec in the middle is their memory outline, and they all support IAP uh, in the application program for users to be able to update uh, their firmware from uh, host, host terminal. And NDU to accelerate uh, calculation, uh, OCP to ensure the safety, and three comparators for the uh, whole element for three-phase motor control. And 5245 has UR interface, while 5252 has both UART and i squared interfaces. And next is gate driver SOC. A gate driver SOC simply means it integrated gate driver. So in this year, we have a series of uh, PN type 36 volt and uh, NN type 48 volt and 110 volt. And uh, we are also on the way to develop our 200 volt and 600 volt products. I believe you could see them in the coming year. And for six volt PN type, uh, they are it's a B, BD66RM uh, 2441B. Uh, its main features including high voltage PWM input circuit and high voltage FG output circuit. And it also has a BDC detection circuit. With this integration, it will help you reduce lots of external components and reduce PCB size. And it's a basic spec, uh, 4K wall ROM and a 384 byte RAM. And it has 5 volt LDO, and one of its key features it is the ORPP type uh, MCU, which stands for OTP ROM uh, parameter program uh, for user to uh, write their parameter data in a specific uh, area in its ROM to compare with conventional type uh, OTP. And it has uh, one comparator for one phase motor control, uh, UART interface, and it has selectable I/O mode. And as to flash type, there are two products uh, this year, BD66FM, uh, 6445A and 6452A. And their key features including high voltage FG output circuit. And it also has a BDC detection circuit to reduce external components. And in, in the middle, they have uh, ultra low power consumption during a uh, standby mode. And other features including back EMF filter to make face change nice and clean. 
and uh, exclusively for 6452A, it is suitable for lithium battery charging application and support international IEC uh, certificate. And their basic spec in the middle is uh, their memory outline. And if you happen to design a product without need of double prone, you can choose 6458A. And they all have 5 volt LDO, and they have three comparators for the use of three phase uh, motor control. And as to 48 volt, there are two new products and one new product for 110 volt and untyped. They all have a base track uh, diode to save you many external diodes. And uh, back EMF filter. And for 48 volt type, it has a 12 volt uh, LDO for user to be able to uh, input 24 volt uh, driving voltage. And uh, as to 110 volt type, it needs an external driving voltage, while internally it has an accurate plus minus 1% uh, reference voltage source. And their basic spec in the middle is their memory outline, and they all have 5 volt LDO, and they have three comparators for the uh, three phase auto control application. And next is uh, driver type. Uh, SOC. In driver SOC, we have integrated everything you need in BLDC motor control. This year, we have a series of 3.5 ampere and 32 volt. First, we have BD60RN3341C. It's a 15 volt, 1.5 ampere type, and it has a high voltage F2 output circuit and uh, BDC detection circuit. And memory size, uh, 4K wall ROM and 384K, uh, 384 byte RAM. And it's uh, also an uh, ORPV type uh, MCU, and it has one uh, comparator for one phase uh, motor control, and it's RDS ohm, it's uh, 1.5 ohm, and peak current up to 1.5 ampere, and it has selectable IO mode. As to flash type, there are two, product, two new products this year, BD60 uh, FN A345B and A452B. Uh, first is A345B, it's a uh, 15 volt, 1.5 ampere type. It has high voltage FG output circuit and back EMF filter. And as to A452F, it is a 32 volt, uh, 3.5 ampere type, and besides F high voltage F2 output circuit and back EMF filter. It also has a BDC detection circuit. And it's suitable for lithium battery charging application. And it, has, uh, sup it supports uh, international IEC certificate. And for flash type, they are, oh, sorry, of their basic spec uh, in the middle is their memory outline and they uh, also support IAP, They're, they have three comparators for three-phase motor control application, RDS ohm, uh, 1.5 ohm, and uh, its peak current is up to 1.5 ampere. They are suitable for the applications such as uh, gardening tools, power tools, or massage guns. Next, please allow me to introduce, uh, introduce you a very convenient uh, Development tool, Hortex 8-bit BLDC motor workshop. First, let's take a look at its structure. After you download it to your computer, connect to Hortex writing program, uh, writing tool, uh, eWriter Pro, and then connect to MCU Pro. Then you can write your parameters from eWriter Pro uh, to MCU to see the change of uh, motor action. And we have already listed every new power number in this workshop. And it covers a full range of power boards from low voltage, middle voltage to high voltage. And let's see how it works. Internally, it has a motor control algorithm to calculate sine wave, uh, whole square wave, and sensorless square wave. And it has a very friendly user interface. And after you input 
uh, the parameters, it will generate a project file for user uh, to proceed secondary uh, development. It is suitable for developing a square wave or sine wave products from low voltage, middle voltage to high voltage. Next is 32 bit core. Same as 8 bit core type, there are three main families in this group. But compared with 8 bit uh, core type, they have more fascinating and powerful features. I will tell you more in the following. And uh, there are totally 15 new parts uh, in this group. Start from pure NCU type. We have uh, HT32F 66246 and 66242. They have a powerful system clock up to 80 megahertz, large memory size, and uh, high speed ADC up to 2.5 mega SPS. And uh, they feature uh, rich interfaces and they also have IAP, and one of its most important features, they have Codec plus I, uh, PID to make FOC calculation fast and efficient. And exclusively for 66246, it has CAN bus for the application of such as e-scooter. And here's a complete uh, block diagram of three-phase uh, FOC uh, build, uh, motor control. And as you can see, there are four PGA uh, here to catch the current signal of, of sampling resistance. And uh, through high-speed ADC uh, to read current data and then via a uh, comparator to do the uh, current over current protection. And our new product here, this year, uh, the operating Temperatures from minus 40 degree to uh, 105 degree Celsius. Moving on is uh, gate driver SOC. In this year, same as a bit type, we have uh, PN type 36 volt and NN type uh, 48 volt and 110 volt. And we are also on the way to develop our 200 volt and 600 volt type products. I believe you will see them uh, in the coming year. And uh, in this family, there are totally 10 new products here. They all have a large memory size and uh, high speed uh, system clock. Uh, they all feature rich interfaces and exclusively for 46 series, it has CAN bus interface. And start from 36 uh, volt PN type, it's, it's uh, main features. Uh, first, HT32F65432 uh, has one OPM, uh, OPA uh, for one shunt motor control, and for 48, it has uh, two OPA for two shunt motor control. And for 32A, it has back EMF filter to make uh, phase change nice and clean. And as to 66446A and 66442, besides the high speed uh, ADC up to 2.5 mega SPS, they have codec plus PID to enhance FOC uh, calculation. And for 46A, it has CAN bus interface. And they all have uh, 5 volt LDO and uh, ultra low power uh, consumption during standby mode. And next is 48 volt uh, and type. There are new. Uh, there are two new products in this uh, family, and their key features. First, they have both 5 volt and uh, 12 volt LDO, and uh, 4 PGA for three shunt uh, application, uh, motor motor control application, and they have high speed ADC up to 2.5 mega SPS, and for 46 G it has a uh, CAN bus. Uh, interface, and they all have uh, boost trade diode to save you uh, external diodes, and codec plus PID uh, to enhance FOC calculation. Okay, for 110 uh, and volt and N type, uh, it also covers a full range of uh, motor control 
application from one shunt, uh, two shunt, three shunt. For one shunt, we have the 32G, and for two shunt, uh, motor control, we have 40G, and for three shunt, uh, we have 42G and 46G. And they all have uh, boost, boost tray diode and 5 LDO, and only 46G has a uh, CAN bus interface. And moving on is uh, driver SOC. For driver SOC, this year we have uh, 3.5 volt, uh, 3.5 ampere, 32 volt series. And uh, same as K uh, driver type, if it has a full range uh, of motor control application from one shunt, uh, two shunt to three shunt, as you can see, uh, 32F has one. Uh, OPA, uh, 40F has two OPA and uh, uh, for two shunt application and uh, uh, 42F has uh, uh, four PGA for three, uh, three shunt application. And uh, they all feature large ROM size, uh, large memory size and high speed uh, system, system clock. And they have a 5 volt LDO and RDS on is 450 mega ohm and peak current up to 3.5 ampere. And they are suitable for the applications of uh, such as e scooter, ceiling fan, uh, or standing fan. And next, I would like to introduce you a very powerful uh, development tool Hotex 32 bit BODC uh, model workshop. It covers the uh, design from uh, one shunt, two shunt, and three shunt uh, model control application. And uh, its structure is simpler than 8-bit. After you download it to your computer, you just need a USB cable to connect to a uh, MCU board. And it covers a full range of power board from low voltage, middle voltage to high voltage. And internally, it has a FOC, hole and the sensorless algorithm uh, to calculate uh, one shunt and two shunt and three shunt uh, mode control. And after you input parameters, it will generate uh, a pro project file uh, for user to proceed secondary uh, development. And one of its most uh, important and powerful features is it has real-time parameter adjustment and virtual oscilloscope. With this function, a uh, user can, sim can easily see the result uh, of parameter change. Uh, from the virtual os oscilloscope. And with this feature, we further provide a remote assistance, which as long as customer allows us to access their computer uh, remotely, we can help them adjust their parameters in real time without need of meeting face to face. So far, we have helped our customers from Taiwan, China, India, and Italy to design their products with this method. It is suitable to design all the all range of one shunt, two shunt, and three shunt uh, BODC motor control products. Okay, coming up is second category, battery and power. There are four group of products uh, in this category start from power delivery MCU. This year we have both 8-bit and 32-bit and they can be both used uh, as a transmitting terminal and receiving terminal and they also uh, support most updated uh, PD 3.1 protocol and exclusively for 8-bit uh, Okay, first take a look at their main features. Uh, first is CC pin detection. Because type C defines two directions plug in, so it needs a CC pin detection to tell the direction of the plug. And uh, VCONN support is to provide power to a cable, uh, which if it has a uh, e marker IC inside. And they all have a high uh, HVO output uh, to HVO output to 
control discharge and the charge. And exclusively for AP type uh, HD45F9160, it has uh, OPA uh, for current detection and uh, it has uh, D plus and D minus for the identification uh, of traditional uh, USB uh, BC 1.2 protocol. And their basic spec here, uh, they all feature uh, rich interfaces. They are suitable for the products such as uh, power bank or car charger. Next is charger MCU. First, in this slide, you can see there are three colors here. Uh, for color orange, it's our new product, which is under, de under development. And for uh, color gray, it's our existing product. And for color green, it's our new product this year. Uh, we have one in o uh, flash type and two in OTP type. For OTP type, they are basically uh, an upgrade version of existing uh, flash type. They have more resources uh, compared with previous, uh, our existing uh, flash type. But uh, because they are OTP type, so they are more cost uh, effective. And for flash type HT45F5Q-5, it has more resource and support international IEC certificate. And their main features, they all have uh, two DEC and one OPA uh, to control voltage and current at the, the same time. And we also provide a charger workshop for user to shorten their development time. And here is it's a black diagram. For charger product, usually we have uh, AC input and through, through an adapter uh, to transform uh, the voltage into small voltage. And the charger MCU here will base some uh, battery status to change the voltage output and uh, uh, current, output, uh, current output to achieve uh, battery, battery charging, uh, battery management. And they are suitable for design products such as e-scooter, uh, chargers or uh, power tools charger. And next is uh, 3 to 8 cell lead battery uh, protection products. There are three families in this group, start from AFEIC. There are three new products in AFEIC. And because AFEIC is designed to use with an MCU, so uh, it integrated uh, LDO inside. Uh, which has low power, uh, low power consumption uh, during standby mode, uh, 0.1 micro ampere. And for 1531 and 2552, they have ice cream interfaces because they have more resource. And uh, respectively, they have different uh, battery voltage monitor methods. And other features for 1531, it has a uh, cell balance to extend uh, battery life. And it, had, it has three uh, gate driver. And it's, its clamp voltage is 12 volt. And as to 2552, it has three level adjustable gain for charge and discharge current monitor. And it has an excellent uh, accuracy uh, reference voltage which tolerance is uh, 50 ppm per degree Celsius. And it has A-level A -level adjustable battery voltage uh, for short protection. Next is A-bit uh, family. There are three series here, and uh, some of their features including high, volt high voltage wake up, and uh, LDO with, uh, out with low power consumption and uh, excellent uh, accuracy in battery monitor. And for 86 series, which is under development, it has uh, three 
J driver and cell balance to extend uh, battery life. And for 86 series, it has a differential amp amplifier to detect current data. And for here's the basic spec of 85 series. In the middle is their uh, memory outline, and they all feature a uh, full range of interfaces, and uh, they have a multi channel ADC. And here's a basic spec of 87 series. They also have uh, uh, rich, rich interfaces and also multiple channel uh, ADC. And last one is 32-bit family. There are four new products in this family. They all have excellent uh, battery mon monitor accuracy, three MMOs, J driver, and uh, cell balance to extend battery life. And for 617 series, it has differential uh, amplifier to detect uh, current. And their basic spec, they all have large uh, memory size and uh, input uh, voltages up to 36 volt. They all support uh, international IEC certificate and also EK9. And for 8-bit products, we also provide a BMS workshop uh, for users to shorten their development time. They are suitable for design products such as uh, power tools or vacuum cleaners or BMS products. Last one of this group is uh, TWS earbuds uh, charging case MCU. Power number HT45F2440. And here is its key features. First is its over voltage protection is up to 28 volt. And its uh, current uh, is charging current is up to one ampere. And it has uh, low current consumption, which is under uh, lower than five uh, microampere uh, when no load. And it has uh, AM and uh, UR interface to transmit uh, data to uh, charging case and then from charge. Uh, to earbuds and from earbuds to your mobile phone. And here's its basic spec. And one of its most important features, it has over voltage protection. It is mainly designed uh, for wireless earbuds charging case. Okay, coming up is uh, the third category, power management. There are two groups in this category. Uh, first is single stage PFC, uh, flyback controllers. There are two, two families in this product. First is HT7L, uh, 5502, uh, 5502 and 5503. Uh, they, they have dimmable constant current control uh, for the application of LED lighting. And as to HT, 788006 uh, with the constant voltage control. It is suitable for uh, BLDC fan application. And key features of uh, 5502 and uh, 5503. They have a PFC controller with the THD optimizer uh, for user to be able to easily pass international LED uh, regulation. And uh, LED current accuracy is lower than uh, plus minus 3% uh, to keep LED brightness in consistency uh, during mass production. And they have uh, both PWM and uh, analog dimming control. And with the external uh, thermal regulation to extend LED uh, life. And they all have a full range of protection uh, mechanism. And as to 8006, it also has a PFC a controller with a TF THT optimizer and operating voltage accuracy uh, lower than plus minus 5%. And 
and it also has a, a rich a protection mechanism. There's basic features operating uh, voltage from both uh, from 10 volt to 40 volt, and the gate source and uh, sink source. Uh, 40 mini ampere and uh, 400 mini ampere and 500 mini ampere respectively. And for 5502 and uh, 5503, it, its dimi range, uh, when PWN duty, uh, it's uh, from 5% to 100%. And when in analog voltage, it's 0.3 volt to 3 volt. And when dimming off, its uh, PW duty is 0%, and uh, uh, when Analog voltage, it had, it's uh, uh, 0.25 volt. For 5502 and 5503, uh, they are suitable for the application of LED lighting. And for 8006, it's suitable for VOTC fan control application. And the last product is a synchronous step uh, down converter. There are two new products in this family, HT7415 uh, uh, and uh, 74173. Their key features first is low current consumption, uh, 50 microampere for no load, and excellent uh, noise immunity. And they have a 100% uh, duty cycle. And exclusively for a SOP, uh, EP, type. Uh, if there is a short issue happened, it can keep it, uh, the temperature, temperature rise for only one degree Celsius to ensure the safety. And it also have, has uh, power good detection uh, for user to confirm the output voltage is the voltage they want. And their, it, their basic spec uh, Input voltage range from 2.5 volt to 6 volt, and output current 2 ampere and 3 ampere. Input withstand voltage 6.4 volt, and they also have uh, a full uh, a rich uh, prote protection mechanism. And they are suitable for the products such as charger, uh, battery charger, or water level uh, meter. And this is end of my presentation. Thanks for your attention. And coming up uh, is uh, our tea break. So enjoy your tea time. Please hold.